Iran has arrested fashion models who are active on social media sites after Tehran's top leader declared war on un-Islamic thoughts on the Internet. Eight members of a modeling network were arrested and accused of publishing photos of women without the hijab headscarf on Instagram. Iran's supreme leader said the Internet was promoting un-Islamic thoughts that should be dealt with promptly. For nearly 40 years, Iran has required all women, citizen or visitor, to cover their hair and wear long, loose garments. The morality police, similar to Saudi Arabia's religious police, detain violators and escort them to a police van, where family members are called for a change of clothes and violators must promise to dress appropriately. For repeat or egregious offenses, the morality police require the violator take a modesty class, levy fine, or send them to prison. Last year, the police in the capital, Tehran, deployed 7,000 officers to enforce the dress code. But in the wave of recent anti-regime protests, an opportunity was provided for the Iranian women to push forward their campaign of the right to freedom of expression. <laughs> They know that this is a punishable crime. They know that they might face jail, but they're doing this. Why? Because they're tired of compulsory job. <laughs> Vida Mavahed, a 31-year-old mother, stood atop a utility box on Tehran's bustling Ingolab Street and removed her hijab, tied it to a stick, and silently waved it like a flag. She was subsequently arrested and detained for a month. Her silent message that women should have the freedom to choose to wear the head covering or not spread quickly on social media and ignited a wave of similar demonstrations. Dozens of women have been arrested, some of whom face up to 10 years in prison, on charges of committing a sinful act, violating public prudency, and encouraging immorality or prostitution. Arrested. They arrested Vida because they thought they were going to stop other women to protest against compulsory job. Mavahed only took that chance because of an online campaign called My Stealthy Freedom, which urges Iranian women to share photos and stories without a hijab. The UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression, which includes choice of clothing. Clothing serves the purpose of expressing personality, individuality, religion, beliefs, and values. The restriction of this right inevitably demonstrates the restriction of other forms of expression, such as sharing information and practicing the religion of one's conscience. The ability to choose undergirds freedom, and that's what the protesters stand for. Yet Iran's Prosecutor General Mohammad Jafar Montazeri dismissed the protests as childish and trivial. The civil disobedience in Iran against the hijab requirement embodies the larger struggle in Iran for basic human rights. شرایط در گذشته بوده حالا هم هست مورد تهاجم واقع میشه و وظیفه همه ما است که حفاظت بکنیم از این سرمایه عظیم فرهنگیمون.